Good day once again. This is Maestro Sani. Let us now discuss the different organs of the body parts and functions of musco musculoskeletal system. So this is the first lesson of the second quarter in science grade 6. Musculoskeletal system. Pero bago po natin ipagpatuloy, yung para po sa mga hindi pa nakapag-subscribe sa aking YouTube channel, huwag pong kalimutan mag-subscribe at pindutin ang notification bell para po you will be notified sa mga susunod pang videos na aking i-upload. So this lesson is based from the idea lesson exemplar from the region for a calabar so so nakikita niyan letter i so this is the introduction so the skeletal system is the framework of the body it is composed of bones bone marrow joints cartilages and ligaments the bone supports and gives shape of the to the body the bone marrow produces red blood cells the joint is pl is a place where two bones meet the cartilage cover the bones with the fluid to make the movement easier. Ligaments are connected tissue, or connective tissue, I should say, that holds the joints together. Okay, so this is the skeletal system from the top, from the cranium, or from the skull, down to the toes, or the phalanges. So... We can see the different kinds of bones that are interconnected to form the skeletal system which serve as the framework of the body. Kumbaga sa, sa building, ito po yung kanyang mga foundations. Ito yung kanyang mga, mga bakal na pinagkonekonekta para maging matibay ang isang Building. So, sa ating katawan, ang tawag po doon is the skeletal system. So, the musculoskeletal system is like a frame. It gives your body shape and support. It supports your body as you move. Some bones protect some vitals, vital parts of the internal organs of the body. It enables the body to make different movements. The bones in the head, the bone forming the head is the skull or cranium. It is like a built-in helmet that is made up of eight bones that have grown together. So, the head bone or the skull protects one of the most delicate organ of the body and that is the brain. We have about 206 bones in the body. As a baby, you had more than 300 bones. So, pag baby siya, ang mga baby ay, they have more than 300 bones. While, uh, human adults has about 206 bones. Ngayon, bakit mas marami sa baby? Kasi, habang tumatanda, some of our bones ay nagkaka-dikit, nagkakabuo. So, Nag, nagdi-decrease yung, uh, nagdi yung kanyang number. The skull protects the brain. It is hard and strong but it can be cracked if received a severe blow. So, yung skull that protects the brain is isa sa mga pinakamahalagang bone sa ating katawan. It protects the brain. Although, sinasabi dito na it is strong pero syempre, if severe blow, sabi niya, pagkamatinding Pagka nagkaroon tayo ng matinding damage or matinding bagsak or matinding pagka, uh, pagkauntog ng ating ulo, syempre, uh, the damage, not only the, the skull but the, but the brain also. So we have also the jaw bones support the teeth and gums enabling us to bite and chew our foods. Then, the backbones or the spinal column hold your head and body straight. 
It consists of 26 separate bones called vertebrae, with this made of cartilage. The cartilage prevents these bones from hitting each other when you move. So, hindi niya hinahaya ang mag mag-hit o mag ng ating mga buto. So, yun yung ating cartilage. The vertebrae protect the spinal cord which is again one of the uh, one of the most important part of the body, the spinal cord. So, it is protected by the vertebrae or by the spinal column. There are seven cervical, twelve thoracic, and five lumbar. One is chrome and one coccyx vertebrae. If you look closely at the vertebra, you will see a hole in its center through which the spinal cord passes. The vertebrae are separated by cartilage which prevents this from these bones from hitting each other when you move. The backbone protects the spinal cord. Your backbone is your main support. Kasi pag ang ating backbone may mga part or ng ating spinal column may mga part ng katawan na hindi maigalaw. Yan. So next is the vertebrae in your backbone let you move in different ways. The skeletal system serves many important functions. It provides the shape and form for the body. Support and protection allows bodily movement, produces blood for the body, and stores minerals. The number of bones in the human skeletal system is a controversial topic. So hindi po natin siya. There is human are humans are born with over 300 bones. However, many bones fuse together between birth and maturity. As a result, an average adult skeleton consists of 206 bones. Yun po yung nasabi kanina. So nag-fuse or nag-join pagka habang lumalaki yung yung human being. So, from 300, from 300 plus to 206. The number of bones varies according to the method used to derive the count. While some consider certain structure to be a single bone with multiple parts, others may see it as a single part with multiple bones. So, may mga, may mga bones po tayo. Kaya nga sinasabi kanina na controversial yung number ng bones. It is because... Some, some says na yung isang bone ay iisa lang siya pero marami siyang part where other they see it as one so mahirap pong pagtalo ng pag yun yung yeah. there are five general classifications of bones these are long bones short bones, flat bones irregular bones and sesamoid bones. The human skeleton is composed of both fused and individual bones supported by ligaments, tendons, muscles, and cartilage. It is a complex structure with two distinct divisions. The axial skeleton which includes the vertebral column and the appendicular skeleton. Okay, so that is all about the skeletal, the musculoskeletal system. It serves as protect and framework of the body. So let us do the activity one or the learning task number one. So as you start exploring the subject, answer the following question. Write your answer in your answers. So meron po tayong crossword puzzle. Yung mga question niya ay nasa next Nasa next slide. So, sa across filters and eliminates liquid waste, regulates water balance. Number three, enables gas exchange with the blood. Number five, enables movement, maintains posture, and can store energy. 
sa nine senses, external environment, and communicates with the, with and activates on the other parts of the body. And then produces gametes and support development. Sa down naman, allow, number one, allow ingestion and break down food so that nutrients can be absorbed. Number four, provide mechanical support, stores minerals, and produces red blood cells. Number six, protects the body's internal environment and store fats. Number seven, enables the transport of nutrients, gases, and waste to form as from cells and number eight secretes hormones into the bloodstream for regular or regulation of cellular activities <coughs> so we have here another activity or learning task number two use the word below to identify parts of the skeletal skeletal system or the skeleton write your answer on your answer sheet <coughs> So here the human skeleton so we have to select from the bone vocabulary the answer so pipilo lang tayo dyan. then what i have learned okay so we've learned that the musculoskeletal system functions are to support the body's shape to protect important organs to help the body movements to produce blood cells and to store calcium and phosphorus the musculoskeletal system is made up of bones cartilage tendons and ligaments there are around 213 bones in the human body and they are all linked through tendons and ligaments these form the protective and supportive framework for muscles Men's bones are usually larger and heavier than the bones that are in, wo in women. Also, women's pel pelvises are wider than the ones that are in men's. This is so women have and support their babies more. There are three types of joints that connect bones. These are fixed joints, mobile joints, and all ball and socket joints fixed joints are the joints that are between the bones in the skull mobile joints are like hinge joints at the elbow or pivotal joint like the joint between the first and the second vertebrae this allows the head to turn from side to side while ball and socket joints allow the widest range of movement like the shoulder and hips so pwede mo ikutin okay so these are the answer keys for the learning class 1, 2, and 3 so we have here down digestive system cardiovascular yung pababa yung down integumentary skeletal and endocrine yung cross naman we have nervous, urinary reproductive muscular respiratory so those are the answers in activity in learning task number 1 how about learning task number 2 so these are the answers in learning task number 2 so letter A is Clavicle, B is humerus, C is radius, D is ulna, E is femur, F is patella, G is tibia, H is tibula, I is metatarsal, J is the skull, K is the scapula, L is the ribs, M is the vertebrae or the vertebrae, N coxal and O the metacarpal bones and we have learning test number 3 so match the parts of the skeletal system in column A with the functions in column B so write your answer in your answer sheets so number 1 skull is letter C 
radiate case that protects the brain. The number two, spinal column is letter B, protect the spinal cord. While number three, bone marrow is the spongy tissue inside some of your bones such as your hips, thigh bones, it contains stem cell. Then we have hinge joint is letter E, allows movement in one direction while number five, ball and socket is letter D, allows movement in all directions. So that's it. Muli ako po yung nagsusumamo na sana po ay mag-like at mag-subscribe at panoorin ang buong video. Na hindi po ni-skip ang ads. Ayan, once again, this is Maestro Sunny saying thank you very much.